Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand your situation, um, your husband is abusive. And you're wondering if this is a good reason for divorce. Um, as you described the situation as well, um, since giving birth, your marriage has gone downhill. And your husband you know, doesn't help around the house or with the baby. And he's emotionally abusing you by saying really mean things to you. Um, and then he says he doesn't mean it, but then he does it again, which is kind of common um, with abuse, whether it's emotional or physical. However, you stated that he also started to physically touch you when angry. So by that, I'm not really sure what you mean, whether he's just like, you know, holding your hand or is he hitting you, right? Um, if he's physically touching you in a way that hurts or is abusive or is um, bullying or hitting, slapping, punching, pushing, that is domestic violence. And none, none of this actually is permissible. Um, and it's all a sin, okay? Because marriage is supposed to be um, a union of love, mercy, kindness, protection, forgiveness, and caring, right? And that is that is why, you know, one of the reasons Allah created the institution of marriage is for two people to grow together in love and be a comfort to one another, right? And if that's not happening, and on the extreme end, he is abusing you, then you have every right to divorce. And if it was only emotional abuse, and I don't mean only to downplay it because emotional abuse can be very devastatingly harmful, right? Um, but the physical abuse takes it to another level where, you know, he could abuse you physically to the point where he may, you know, injure you or even kill you. So, you know, that's, that's a whole other level of abuse, but they're both abuse. They're both haram. They're both sinful. And you do not deserve this. You do not, you know, you, you were not created to be abused, to put it simply. Allah did not create you, and your mother did not give birth to you, and, you know, to marry somebody who is going to hurt you or harm you. So with that in mind, um, I kindly suggest that if he is physically abusing you and hurting you, that you do, you know, separate, go live with possibly your parents, a friend, um, but, you know, get out of the situation. And also, it's not healthy for the baby, right? Um, you have a, a baby, and the baby is in a home where there's violence and emotional um, abuse taking place, and that is not healthy or safe for the baby either. So the main thing here, sister, is your safety, right, and your baby's safety. So, inshallah, please do speak with your parents about, you know, moving in with them, separating for a while. Um, if you can't talk to your parents or anybody else about it, um, inshallah, please do reach out to the National um, Domestic Violence Hotline in your area. I'm not really sure where you are, but there should be one. Um, call them, um, or even you can go on the website, and, to, and I think you can chat online with them as well. But if you do do that, make sure that you erase the cookies, you erase your, your, your search history, all that, right? Because you want to be safe. You don't want your husband to find out. Um, and they can give you further guidance um, on how to leave safely and um, what next steps should be. But inshallah, there should be, you know, a lot of support in the community. There should be a lot of support um, possibly at the Islamic centers. I know where I'm at, there's a lot of um, resources set up for women who are victims of domestic violence. And this is kind of like what it sounds like or, or the direction that it's going and if it already is not. Um, so please reach out to the Islamic centers um, to see if they do have resources for Muslim women. Um, if there's a community center there um, that you could go to for mental health counseling, go there. 
uh, make an appointment um, and get resources from the counselor on call. Uh, but yeah, the main thing is you want to be safe, sister, and you want your baby to be safe. And no, you do not have to stay married to somebody who is emotionally or physically abusive to you. Um, that's not part of the plan. <laughs> that's not part of what marriage is, right? Um, so please do think about these things. Please do be safe when you're reaching out for um, assistance in your area, if you choose to do so, and I do hope that you do. Um, and know that Allah did not create marriage for this, nor did Allah create you to be abused emotionally, physically, or mentally, or any, in any way, because he loves you. And um, he created you, you know, you know, beautiful and, and pious and, and sweet and, and loving and compassionate and caring for other people. Um, somewhere along the line, your, your husband got lost, I'm sorry to say. Um, but please do, you know, think about, you know, what I said and uh, hopefully some of this is helpful. Um, maybe take some of the tips and not others or utilize all of them to help resolve your situation. We wish you the best.